Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. So, here we are, back at our friend, Mr. Dalius. It's not actually his real name. <laughs> we have a beautiful morning here, overlooking this rather lovely view of the valley down below. Looks like our friend is ready, set up. He's had his breakfast. The person who merely watches the flight of a bird gathers the impression that the bird has nothing more to think of than the flapping of its wings. As a matter of fact, this is only a very small part of its mental labor. Mm, to even mention all the things a bird must constantly keep in mind in order to fly securely through the air would take the better part of a day. The bird has learned this art of equilibrium and learned it so thoroughly that its skill is not apparent to our sight. We only learn to appreciate it when we try to imitate it. And I... Charles Kinnear will now demonstrate the miracle of flight. Into the wild blue yonder, Marston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and, well, very much like uh, Mr. Icarus himself. It didn't end very well at all, did it? <laughs> so, I like the way he's going on about like the mental labor of the birds there. Pretty sure it's just instinct and um, automatic for them to fly. Just as it is like you and I to breathe. You know, instinctive flying. So, what the hell? Ah, there's our friend there. With a donkey called Burrito. We can appreciate that. What's that guy? Oh, that guy was being weird with his horse. We'll pretend we didn't see these things. Such a strange morning. You know. It starts off with a man. Um, essentially jumping to his death. His um, flying machine didn't even have to beat its wings. So... Yeah, not really imitating the bird that well, I would say. Also noticed how he didn't have any way of physically strapping himself into the machine. It was just hold on to the crossbar and hope for the best. You know, hope that it doesn't fold in on his own weight. Well, unfortunately, the body is nowhere to be seen. I'm guessing, <laughs> has he been eaten? By the by, the um, wolves or the hyenas, whatever they are, coyotes. I don't know. His body's not here. I don't know if there's anything we can actually do. No, no. There's nothing like we can loot, or there's no achievements. But there we go. He tried, and like so many before him, failed. Over to the right, brothers. I guess. Still, we're a little uh, way off that. Anywho, the sun is rising on this beautiful uh, land. Now we have to get all the way back to the Great Plains and see Mr. Uh, Agent. See what he's got for us this time. Uh, also got a few things to buy when we get back into town. because we've been using a lot of the horse pills. Whoa! <laughs> Out of my way, jackass. Oh, hello. Evening. I suppose we can, st we can do it. And that's how we handle people in the Old West. Hopefully someone's going to remove his corpse. What, have we got here? Uh, what? The hell? Somebody's like shooting at us. Did he have a friend? I mean, whoever it is, is a pretty lousy shot to be fair. What the hell? Oh, there's somebody down here shooting at us. Oh god. That's not good. 
Why are you shooting me? I'm here doing the Lord's work. It actually looked like a cop. Why is there a cop shooting me? Like, what have we possibly done to deserve this? I mean, okay, don't answer that. We've done a lot of things to deserve this. But specifically here now, what have we done? We have helped a shopkeeper. Alright, let's see if we can sneak round and he'll forgive us. See, look, that cop doesn't care. There you go, friend. Um, the crazy loony cop is getting into position. Oh shit, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Run! 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 <sighs> you son of a bitch. So, cop goes crazy, probably one day from retirement, and starts shooting up the, the hero of Blackwater. I don't appreciate that, to be honest. Not really. And we're all the way back in Mexico, because of course we are. Ah, <sighs> God damn it. Son of a bitch. Anyway, so I just murdered a guy who stole that chap's horse coming back into town. Everything seems to be going down at Blackwater today. And we've only just hit midday. Oh, <laughs> didn't see you there, fella. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Anyway, let's go find ourselves a shop. Hopefully the shopkeeper isn't being horribly robbed this time. Welcome. Apart from the robbing that we're about to do. So we're going to be buying apples and horse pills. Now he's got five horse pills left. We might as well get a survivalist map as well. Um, yeah, so we've got the horse pills. But interestingly enough... He's got five for sale, but we only need... I'm pretty sure we only need three. So, can we actually buy items from the shop if we don't have any carrying capacity for them? I don't know. So, we need seven. So, technically, the most we're going to be able to hold is three. But can we actually buy four or five? Mm-hmm. No, okay, so the game does hard cap you. Okay, so you can't just throw your money away. We're going to buy all the apples as well. Because I've been using these a lot for traveling around. Just thanks to uh, the good old games librarian for, you know, mentioning how useful these are. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff here as well. Like a hell of a lot of stuff here. And if memory serves, if we go into the journal here. Yeah, we don't need any of it anymore. So, you know what? We might as well sell it. Earn some money. Because we can't take it with us now, can we? And I think, you know, we're probably going to be making over a grand with everything that we've got in our pocket. Yeah, even these herbs, they're not worth like a huge amount of money. But, you know, everything that goes into our pocket is worth it. So we've got 8,200, basically, when we start selling stuff. Prairie poppy. Yeah, it's not worth a huge amount. And prickly pears, red sage. Violet snowdrop. That's worth a decent amount of coin. $9 a piece. We've got 11 of them. $99. Not too shabby. So what else have we got here? Ah, the big horn horns are actually worth a good bit of uh, cash, and so the so is the actual big horn meat. Big horn skins worth a little bit. Bear meat. Now this is where we start getting into serious cash. And well, I don't know. Actually, we'd probably get more money if we sold it in another shop. To be fair. Well, thank you. 
Cougar claw. Cougar claw is worth like $18 on its own. It's kind of insane. The claw is actually worth more than the pelt, which is curious. Fox fur. Eh, fox meat. I'd probably try fox meat, to be honest. Grizzly tooth. Yeah, the grizzly claw, uh, claw is actually worse um, than the cougar claw, which is kind of interesting. You would have thought a grizzly bear claw would be worth more money. Probably wouldn't be eating raccoon meat or skunk meat for that matter. You'd have to like cook the stench out of it first. Wash the stink out. Wolf meat. I might give wolf meat a go. Pretty sure like I've heard that wolf meat is kind of grisly and tough. And that's that. We actually made about 1,200 bucks. Right Pretty good turnout if you ask me. Now, let's go see uh, our government friends. I say friends. This is a strong term, to be honest. But... Uh, bit of a uh, ugly bit of business that we've got with these gentlemen and you will know the truth what do you want Marston my family I've done what you asked no you haven't this is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. And disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. We, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure. Civilization may be dull. But the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderman to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in Edo? Don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Yeah, that guy's a bit of a penis, but he does make a good point. 
as boring and as dull as the rules are for society, they are there for a reason. And yes, they are not perfect, but it is better than the alternative chaos that would ensue otherwise. Now, looks like these fellas have got an upgraded vehicle. Now this is more like it. An armored deathmobile. Let's see if we can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? Go quick! Take a look at this thing! Well, let's... Have you seen this? He's got a gun on uh. In all my born days, I never seen such a dragon. Iron dragon! An iron dragon. They told me about these. The army's been building them in secret. Oh my god, what kind of armor is that? This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you and call this it? this isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't mm -hmm. win. The army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. Pretty sure there was a... You hear me, Marston? I thought you were Charge talking complete. rather large... ...empire... ...roaming the planet at this particular point in history. But, we can appreciate this modern vehicle. But a taste of things Here to come. <laughs> the machine gun. That we did, dear boy. And also, this is a water cooled, belt fed Captain? machine gun. We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. All right. Yeah, this. I forget what weapon this actually is. It's. It's not a brownie this, exactly. I guess so. It might be a brownie actually, an early brownie. But it's got that big water jacket on the barrel. Water cooled machine gun, eh? Everybody stay alert. Pretty gnarly stuff. So this is where they have one last hurrah. Targets on the horizon! Let's thin the herd. It's over. And we get to have most of the fun. I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> <laughs> These government boys are having a good time. But then, to be fair, so are we. Kill those bastards. It's also a good thing this thing doesn't overheat or run out of ammo. Not sure why Dutch would be sending uh, his men after the army. That seems like a very, well, poor decision, to be honest. But then, that does seem to be what happened to Dutch towards the end. They are rats. How many bastards are there? It's okay. We've got plenty of bullets. This would be a hell of a defeat for his gang, to be fair. Like a punishing defeat. Sons of bitches! <laughs> Sons of bitches! You gotta love these guys. I mean, they're all penises, but. Lore and order. Yeah, so let's use this iron dragon to chase down the stragglers. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. I love the brass that comes out of this gun as well, it's really cool. And that isn't just like a 2D texture. Um, they're actually like proper 3D shell casings. Which is kind of mad for this being a 360 game. Try harder, damn it. Yeah, we didn't have like fancy suspension back then. 
none of that gas powered suspension. Be amazed if there's even leaf springs on this thing. Yeah, we're starting to get hit by just about everything. That's okay. We can take it and dish it out. Firebombs. Guess him. <laughs> Kicked himself up. It's kind of a. It's a bit hard to aim this machine gun because you do end up just shooting the uh, cab in front of you. Which, well, I'm glad it's armored. That's all I can say. That wagon's out of control. It's coming straight out of our cavalry. It's coming straight for us. Not anymore, son. Not anymore. I mean, that was an interesting last ditch effort by Dutch. But wait, there's more. Ooh. That was uncomfortable. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, man. Let's move out. Well, they're still stringing us along. Looks like this nasty bit of business is going to be done. And it's going to be done today. Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. This is suicide, if you ask me. My scouts have seen that fort of his. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. Yep, the new world is a-changing rapidly. They said you was in a gang with this Dutch Vanderlyn. I was once, a long time ago. Don't seem like the kind of fellow you want to run with. Unless I completely misjudge your character, of course. When he turned crazy, I left. At least I tried to leave. Till those suits back there came and knocking, threatened to kill my wife and son if I didn't go after them. Strange times we live in, partner. Strange times. Indeed. Extremely strange times. It's a funny business. Army, government men, criminals, with all due respect. You're telling me. Too many hands on the tiller, if you ask me. This is how mistakes happen. My boys don't know who's giving the orders no more. Take it from me, mister. When we get up there, it ain't gonna matter. It'll be every man for himself. Seems reasonable. There's gonna be plenty of shooting. Plenty of shooting and killing. certainly is a long ride to our next destination. So I say we relax and enjoy Look the moment. At this. Snow. We must be getting up high now. Yep, we've got a good long way to go yet now, friend. Pretty sure we could have taken a more direct route. But the game likes to show off its scenery, I suppose. 
we have no murder death wagon as backup this time. It's just us. Approximately 10 soldiers, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, about 10 of us. To take out a gang of criminals. I'm pretty confident that, like, 10 soldiers and a hardened criminal probably would be enough to take the gang down, but they have proved that they are a relatively resourceful bunch, which doesn't necessarily bode well. That's okay. We're just going to enjoy this calm before the storm. I'm glad everyone started running again. That was getting <laughs> uh, long-winded. Let's just say that much. You know what? This guy uh, appears to have lost his tongue. So I suppose we can just zoom off. Look at this water, though. The water looks fantastic. I actually really like this area of tall trees. It's really pretty. Let's go scout ahead. Although, I'm not 100% sure if we can like leave him behind and get in trouble. Not really sure how that works. At the same time, pretty confident in saying we're going to die of old age before these guys get here. Go. But usually you can skip journeys. I don't know, bit of a weird one. Maybe they want the build up to start this mission off. one way to make an entrance. Forward! Move in! It's Follow time to kill these motherless bastards! <laughs> motherless bastards. Anyway, guys, that's probably going to have to do it for the now we're gonna have to finish this one off in the next video because um yeah we're already on like half an hour and i don't want to push my bandwidth too hard so thanks for watching